Somebody called me a spy from the Republican Party. I told people to not go to internet strangers' houses. But let's talk about the rhetoric that is being used and why this is a dangerous thing to Before anyone asks, no, I don't feel better. I have an appointment Friday. I'll post more when I know more about that. But this is too important for me to wait until I feel better to make a video about. That's my mutual Kiki, and since the Roe v. Wade decision dropped, she's been making videos. If you're not already following her, go ahead and do. She's tagged in this video. Her normal content is normally geek content, but she also does talk politics and current issues. Like the video she's done after the SCOTUS ruling on Roe v. Wade of actions that you can take that will actually have an impact. But I want to talk about the accusations against her about being a spy for the Republican Party simply because some white liberals and some white leftists don't agree with her stances on how to take action. And this isn't just isolated to her. This happens a lot with BIPOC creators, especially BIPOC women, who talk about issues that upset white liberals and white leftists. And this happens because we have people within the white leftist and white liberal community that, no matter the subject, think they always know the best thing for it. The SCOTUS ruling on Roe v. Wade comes out, and now we have to start thinking covertly, and people think you just throw on a black turtleneck and start calling yourself Archer, and you're good to go. Heads up, you're not Archer, you're not Lana, you're not Ray. You're Cyril, circa season 1, season 2. You have potential and you can be trained, but you're nowhere near ready for the work that needs to be done. But unlike Cyril, you're not willing to stop, listen, and learn. The one trait that you actually share with Archer is this massive ego thinking that you're the best in the world. If it's not an idea that you came up with, obviously it must be wrong, and if people are feeding wrong information, it obviously must be from the Republican Party. And if it's from the Republican Party, it's stupid, because everybody who's from the Republican Party is stupid, but you're not, because you know what's best. One, take an honest look at things. If Republicans, white nationalists, white supremacists were truly stupid like you think they are, do you think they would have gotten this far with destroying this country? Two, check your ego at the door because you're going to end up getting BIPOC people, especially BIPOC women, killed. More than likely, you have no actual experience flushing out covert informants or people who spread disinformation campaigns. And so far, I haven't seen any of my actual followers do this. But just because you've watched some of my videos talking about how I find these people and how I find these disinformation campaigns does not mean you're actually qualified to do so. Yes, my videos are designed to teach you how to start spotting these things so that you can think more critically. But at no point do I want any person who watches one of my videos to go up to a BIPOC creator, especially a BIPOC woman creator, and declare that person is a spy for the other side. Because at that point, she is now a target not just of white supremacists, but also to the random ass white person who claims to care about the cause but is more concerned with their own personal name, fame, and glory than they are the actual movement. And this spreads like wildfire because now white people who hear this wonder if every BIPOC person that they disagree with is a spy. Congratulations, you just put their life in danger and destroyed trust in an entire movement. So if you truly care about the movement, one, put your ego at the door. Two, listen to people who've been doing this a lot longer than you, especially BIPOC women. And three, focus on the work, not the bullshit.